Knowledge is power. Knowledge brings the power to change. Or does it? At the Mindaroo Foundation in Western Australia, we believe knowledge is not enough. We must consolidate and communicate our knowledge with urgency and establish new cutting edge world leading research facilities to provide evidence as well as growing and supporting global communities of governments, industry and non-government organisations working together to transform plastics. That is why I am here talking to you today, this enthusiastic and concerned community working in support of and in unison with the Plastic Soup Foundation to inspire you to work with us, think and plan with us, climb with us to seemingly insurmountable mountaintops. The first mountaintop to climb is the elimination of the harmful effects of plastic to people and planet by 2030. When we have reached that peak, we will have another team climbing another peak of improved plastic design so it is valued, can be safely recycled and retained within the global circular economy. At the same time, intense innovation adventures must begin and be supported by financiers, governments, academics, particularly green chemistry and industry R&D departments to find alternatives to plastic or safe plastic. Like the Montreal Protocol, we need a global agreement to phase out 98% of harmful plastic chemicals, saving millions from plastic-related illness and disease. Like the Montreal Protocol, we must find a serendipitous discovery that can provide business benefits and clear environmental outcomes. Consumers will turn away from harmful plastic chemicals when they realise the impacts to their health, stopping them from having children, adding to diabetes and obesity risks, and affecting their unborn children's brains. It will be easier and more practical if there are alternatives and replacements to provide new safe products. Not to mention great opportunity for industry. Plastic pollutes. It invades our oceans, our soil, our animals and us. It contributes to climate change. Environmental plastic pollution is well documented and we have all seen the distressing visuals. Plastic in humans, we haven't seen it. It is invisible. In humans, plastic is an invisible problem, either not known or not prioritised, especially in a world where plastic is convenient, it's easy, it's cheap and it's everywhere. We also know from what we heard today and in the 2019 Plastic Health Summit that toxic chemicals commonly added to plastics present unacceptable risks to humans. More than 10,000 chemicals are used in plastic and only a fraction have been studied for their impacts to human health. We have a big problem to collectively solve. More is needed to change the injustices and the devastating impacts of plastic pollution. You cannot change what you cannot measure. Measurement provides us with the knowledge about the problem and a clear question to answer. At the Mindaroo Foundation, we are measuring plastics. We are shining a light on plastics in the environment and in our bodies, as well as those industries who produce and finance plastics. What is measured can be changed. What is seen cannot be unseen. Our team at Mindaroo Foundation is dedicated to measuring plastics. We have measured plastic polluters, the Global Plastic Wastemakers Index, published in May this year, showed the biggest single-use plastic wastemakers in the world and the companies that finance them, creating transparency of who is creating environmental impact and who is financing it. We are measuring plastic pollution in the environment. We're showing illegal dump sites and landfills with a pilot study on new plastic monitoring technology. You will hear more about that in the coming months. We are measuring plastic pollution in humans. We are doing an extensive literature review of all scientific publications since 1960. There's mounting evidence and concern about the impact of plastic chemicals on human health. Plastic chemicals affect fertility, reproductive systems, birth weight, miscarriage and brain health. Not to mention links to chronic disease that ensure we die earlier, cancer, diabetes, obesity. From before we are born and throughout our entire life, we are exposed to plastic chemicals. What is less known is what the plastic particles are doing inside our bodies. We have a partnership with the University of Queensland, their best scientists, and we are providing specialised technology and machines to develop methods on how to measure plastic inside humans. 
We are creating and advocating for global standards for measurement of plastic inside humans. We need your help. Our work with the global community has shown that we must ask industry to tell us what chemicals are in plastic. Government and industry need to work together to manage this globally. Together, we are solution makers. We want open conversations and collective efforts to shine light on these injustices to change how we make, use and dispose of plastic. We must have a safer, healthier future. We will bring energy measurement data, our hearts and minds, and continue generating new ideas with our global family. We will never, ever give up on a safer, healthier future for people and planet.